Yo, what's good, girl? For one, three here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for episode number fourteen of our Forza Horizon Four Let's Play. And today, guys, today is the first day of autumn here in Forza Horizon Four. I know, guys, today is actually like by the time you're watching this, let's see here, it, it, it's going to be a few days down the line. But today, for me, is the first day of autumn, and I figured what we would go ahead and do is go and collect the new autumn barn find. That's right, guys. Let's go ahead and go find that new autumn barn find. I'm really excited to go ahead and do this. Uh, plus, as well, we do got some other challenges to still do that I want to go ahead and hit up. Uh, those are our showcase events. So we might hit up that barn find and then try our hands at a new showcase event and see what all we got left to do at the end of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode started. I am excited, guys. Let's go grab this barn find. Let's go grab it. We're not too terribly far away from it either. I think it is just down here somewhere. Uh, if it'll actually show up. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I, I, I know what's going on. I need to hit all. There we go. There we go. So now we've got our autumn barn find down here. Have no idea what it is. Have no idea where it is. We're just going to go get this thing. We're just going to go get this thing and hope for the best. That That's all we can do all we can do we're gonna hunt it though we are not gonna use drone mode like i've used for every other barn find so far we're just gonna go ahead look for this thing in our off-road dodge durango here see what we can find i i'm hoping to find something pretty cool i'm hoping to find something pretty cool i really want this to be a cool barn find who knows what it will be though who knows what it'll be oh man we are so close i felt like i could have knocked that tree over i guess not I thought that was supposed to be the whole deal. If you think you can hit the tree and knock it over, you will. I think if this car would actually knock that tree over. Guess not, though. Like this tree right here. I think I can knock. Yep, yeah, no, can't knock that over. I don't know what's going on there. Bizarre. I could have swore that that, that tree would have gotten knocked over. I guess not, though. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so we're pretty much ship. Where are you? Right. Don't move. From what I've heard, this one is big. It's an Aston. A wee gem of an Aston. Maybe a whacking great diamond of an Aston, if it's the one I think. You ever heard of a Sagato? Right. Let's get it out of here. Got a good feeling about this one. I'll meet you at the garage when it's done. So that literally took absolutely no time at all for us to find. I mean, literally, we just came from the festival site, went off road, boom, we're here. I, I, I saw that there was this little tree line there. I'm like, yeah, I wonder if it's around here. And then we just ran into the freaking barn. Holy crap, guys. That was very, very quick. For those of you guys who want to know, it is located right here on the map. Uh, it looks like it is on the edge of this field, this one, and this one. You just need to go ahead and find where it's at in case you have not yet found it. So, all right then. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I was thinking. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do this Delta Wing Showcase event now. It's right here. We have not yet done this. I'm excited to get this one done. I've heard some good things about this. I saw a little bit of a spoiler for what to expect, but I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm still saving that Halo showcase, though, because I want to do that Halo showcase here relatively soon as well. We might do that in the next episode. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, this is a... Uh, woo! Interesting. To say the least. That's, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. All right. This Dodge Durango is going for it. Ooh. Ooh, we got a beauty spot over here that we have not yet found. Let's go ahead and knock that one off the bucket list as well. The Broadway Windmill. Uh, hold on. I do want to set. See, can I change this here? Can I change it here? No, I can't change it here. Wait, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Is it in Creative Hub? No, that just tells me what my status is. Damn it! I was hoping that you know I could actually change my uh my emote or whatever it is that I have because we're still on Sleepy, unless it's under Settings maybe. Uh, we can name our character, uh, but we can't change that. Oh well. Oh well. We'll go ahead and go with this. I was going to change it to something else, just for shits and giggles. Uh, let's see what they got to say, though. You know all those shows on the telly where people move away from the city to live here? Well, you can see why, can't you? Uh, 
That's a pretty windmill. That's a pretty windmill, guys. All right, so anyway, though, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. All right, we're going to go over this hill and get to our showcase event, which is not very far. Just about a mile or so to go. But this Dodge Durango, oh my, Dodge Durango, it, it, it needs to be a little softer, I think. I've got this tuned right now to be a little bit harder. I think it would actually do better if it was just a little bit softer. All right, so here we are. We are at the showcase event now, the Delta Wing Showcase. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Oh, man. Aston Martin Vulcan. Look at this thing, man. I cannot wait to get in that. That is going to be awesome. I want one of those. And there's the Delta Wing. You thought our other jet was impressive. When we raced it for the film crew. Holy hell. That is a big ass jet. Woo! You've got a lot of fans coming to watch you race this jet. Go on, give them a show. We are. We are, Kira. We are. Uh, I want to make sure that stability control is on for this Aston Martin Vulcan. These things have a tendency to be a little bit wild. So let's go ahead and get this race started. Oh, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. The whole screen is shaking. Oh, my God. So much power in that thing dear lord let's see though if we can beat a jet first try oh god okay break there we go ow that's a wall oh man let's see if we can do this I'm a little bit worried I'm actually a lot of worried Oh my god! There's the jet again. Oh my god. Every time that's going to scare the bejeebus out of me. That thing is so loud. It shakes us to the core. Oh my god. Look at that thing just flying around right there. Oh god. It's coming back. It's coming back. Like, look at that. It causes us to lose control. That thing is so quick and fast. Oh my god. Like, I couldn't steer. <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. It's shaking the ground. It's shaking the core. It's absolutely wild and insane. All right, there we go. Oh, God, we're losing it. We're losing it just a bit. Oh, it is holding for us. What is it holding for? Oh, God. We got something interesting coming up here. Uh, no, it was just holding for that. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, Vulcan. We got this. We have got this. That jet would kick our ass in reality. Oh, my God. Where's our jump? We, we know there's got to be a jump where we got to jump that jet. Oh, my God. Where is it? Where is the jump? Oh, it's right here. I knew there was going to be one. Oh, what? We don't even get to see the jet? That's bull. Were we not too fast around the corner, so we didn't get to actually see it? Oh, that's disappointing. We're too slow to see a jet, damn it. Oh, great, now it's raining. Where it's raining, and we're in an Aston Martin Vulcan. This is not a good combo. This is not a good combo whatsoever. Oh, my God. This thing is quick though. That's all I can say about this Vulcan. I really want to get one of these, but man, man oh man, it's quick. There we go. That's the cutscene we need. That's the cutscene we needed as we crash into a tree at 91% of the race left. Oh god, that's gonna kill us, isn't it? That is going to kill us.
Yeah, the jet beat us. I knew that was going to kill us! No! Oh god, yeah, we gotta restart that. Who crosses the line first? And two, pilots can circle back if you ask nicely. Yeah, we're, we're asking nicely, Kira. We're asking nicely. We crashed into a tree and lost the whole damn thing! Oh my god. They just had to put a tree right there. Right there, right? They're like, we want you to fail. We want you to fail this. All right, let's get this. Let's get serious. Let's get our game face on here. We're going to take on this jet. We're going to kick its ass. That's what I'm doing. I am pumped, guys. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. We're going to try and drive as best as we can because now at least we know this course. We know what to expect. All right, come on. There we go. We're taking those corners actually pretty damn well. Although we did hit that wall. That's not great. Not great. Not going to hurt us too bad, though. Shaking just a little bit. All right, man. We got this. We got this in the bag. 26% of the way through already. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But you guys see that we just lost a little bit of control thanks to that jet jumping right overhead. But we were able to keep it together. Thank God. All right. Do we have this? We have got this, guys. We've got this. I've got so much confidence we're going to win it this time. I've got so much confidence we have got this. We have absolutely got this. The jet is stolen. It is waiting for us. It is dive bombing for it. All right, so we should be coming up to the jump here. Hopefully, we can actually do the jump quick enough so that we can actually see the damn jet. Oh, man. that That's intense right there. That thing almost was touching us. Oh. I missed that last time. No, we still don't get to see the jet. We're going too slow. Ow, that hurt. Look at that bullshit. Look at that. What did we even hit? We hit a wall, and it stopped us, like, dead in our tracks. <laughs> like, I know that it, it, when you normally hit a wall, it stops you dead in your tracks. But this is a Forza wall. We should have been able to ride that at least for a small amount, not just boom, stop, done. Oh, God. And of course, we landed the jump at an angle. Oh, God. We can't go over the jump straight. It's not good. It's not a good sign. The tree's calling our name. It's got us in its sights. It's going to get us. Oh, God. I got confidence, though. We're going to work to avoid that damn tree. Because it's all the tree's fault. I'm blaming Ben. If you guys don't know who Ben is... Ben, a.k.a. Tree, he works over there at uh, Playground Games. All right, this time we landed straight. Yes. Oh, thank God. I think we got this one. We've got this one. Yes. We beat him. Woo. That was... No idea you could even compete, let alone pull off a win like that. Thanks, Kira. Thank you. We had to go again, though. It took us two tries, but we got it. We got it. Got ourselves 20,000 credits and 5,300 in three influence. Ooh, and we just unlocked. Oh, I know we just unlocked. We just got the Colossus T. Does that mean that we just unlocked the Colossus? And, of course, we get a wheel spin for leveling up. Oh, man. What are we going to get? We're going to get a KTM crossbow. Not even mad. That is good. I'm so glad we didn't get that Focus RS. I'm so glad we didn't get that Focus RS, but we pulled in that nice KTM crossbow. I'm happy about that. I am so happy about that. Which leaves us with the 12 best road racers at the festival, all competing to be crowned the new road racing champion at Horizon. This is the Colossus.
Are you ready? I'm gonna be straight up honest, guys. I have barely done any of the like the straight up road racing. The only road racing we've done was in like the last two episodes where we were doing it for the seasonal challenges. And now we're doing it here. Because as well, we unlocked the gauntlet as well. That's absolutely crazy. That is crazy. So right now what I want to do is I want to save the gauntlet and the colossus for their own video. We got a force on live coming out. We might check that out. Probably not though. Probably not. But uh, how about we go ahead and you know what? Let's do some business stuff. We haven't really done any business stuff. And we're right here next to whatever this is, the LA Racer at Horizon. Let's go ahead and hit them up. I don't know who this is, but let's see what they got in store for us. Let's see what they got in store for us. All right, yeah. I know, Anna. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Please. Oh, so we just discovered the Horizon drag strip speed. We, we haven't driven around enough. All right. So we got La Racer at Horizon or LA Racer. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's go ahead and do this solo, of course. Oh, we're going to get a little cutscene. I think we get to meet someone new, too. Because we still got to do all this business stuff. Hi, it's La Racer. I'm at the Horizon Festival in the UK. I'm at Horizon! It's awesome. Come join me. I'll be streaming every day. Today, we'll be counting down my top 10 favorite cars. And I've got a guest. Who? Just one of the biggest rising stars at the Horizon Festival. Number 10, the Ferrari Testarossa and OutRun, which is one of the best games of all time. I don't care about stand-up or console port. This game is a classic. If you've not played it, pause this right now and go play it. I'll wait. Great, everyone's back. Let's drive. Get ready, go! All right, so I'll be straight up honest. Never played Outrun. I don't even know what that game is. Never heard of it. So I guess we need to pause this and uh, get back. Uh, I'm <laughs> just kidding. We're we're here for Forza. We ain't here for whatever that Outrun game is. This is definitely one of the best racing games right here, man. All right. So anyway, though, let's get this race going here. So we gotta beat get to our destination in under three minutes. And we got 3.9 miles to go. Ooh, that is a bit of a challenge. That is a bit of a challenge, but we're now just getting out of the festival site. 3.6 miles to go. As long as we stay over 120 average, we should be well in good shape. In fact, as long as we stay over 90, we should be in good shape. Although, actually, we got two, mi two minutes to go about three miles now. Uh... We're going to cut through the woods here. You know, be a little sneaky, sneaky. Thank you. And I, I thought I turned off the freaking GPS voice. Why is it back on? That's my question. Like, I, I don't want to hear her keep telling me, turn left, turn right, turn left. I, I can see. I can see, damn it. I thought I turned it off. Oh, my God. 200 yards. Turn left. Yep. Turn left. I loved how Outrun had different biomes. It was so relaxing. Racing and exploring and beautiful cars. I love games that do that. So Outrun kind of sounds like it's a classic Forza. You know, like, oh, yeah, you get to drive around in these different biomes or something like that. And who knows? Maybe I actually have played OutRun, and I just don't know it. Like, if it was, like, an arcade game ever, then I may have actually played it. I don't know, because I remember playing a bunch of, like, old racing arcade games and stuff like that back in the day. But I never really, like, I never really, like, owned them or did much with it. You know, it, it was just that. All right, so we're cutting across this field, though. We got showing off completed. What was showing off? I don't know what that one was. Beautiful. So we made it with 30 seconds to spare. I 
would have loved to drive that. But I've been fielding questions and comments. My subscribers love watching you drive. What? We only got three stars? Or two stars? As soon as you're ready, I'll set up another stream. What do we need to... Okay, so we need to be 202. At least... Well, no. 202 is Don Juan's song. I, 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 that's, that's high up there. We need to find out. what What is a three-star event on this? What do you need to get three stars? That's what we need to figure out. Because we only got two. I want them three stars. Damn it. <laughs> Give me them three stars. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, we should have some more events to go ahead and do. Uh, I have no idea where we're at right now, but we'll see where we are. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, our Aston Martin is ready to collect. It's a DB4 Zagato. Stop by the goddess when you can. This one's a beauty. All right, so anyway, though, what I want to check really quickly is do we have any more challenges? I want, I want to see here. So we're going to do, uh, I think they're called business, right? Or no. Uh, stories and businesses. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so we got those two. And then we got this one up here, which is Drift Club, which I definitely want to go ahead and check out there. Uh, and as well, we got World's Fastest Rentals. So... Let's go ahead and check out Drift Club really quickly. We're just going to go ahead and fast travel there. Make this really quickly because we are running low on time. And I do want to go ahead and pick up that Aston Martin at the end of this live stream. Or not really live stream. Because this isn't a live stream. But this episode. So let's get into a Drift car. Unless, is it going to give us our own? That's my question. Or is it going to give us one to use? Just in case, I want to hop into an actual Drift car. Uh, so that we can actually get some good points. All right, let's get into this just in case. But I think we should be good to go. I think we should be good to go. All right. Drift Club. Let's get into this. Hello, my name is Robert. Don't need to tell me your name. Joel's done plenty of that. Uh, I've gathered a group of like-minded drivers together here at the festival, and I hoped you might help us attract more. We're called Drift Club, you see. We like to... Well, <laughs> you can probably guess. Some rush, but I'm rather partial to the engineering, I must say. Why don't you take my old Nissan 240 out and see which you enjoy better? Uh, that guy looked kind of dorky wearing that Canadian suit. It's go into your car settings and switch off the traction control. Might be a button. Oh, yeah, we, we probably need to do that, don't we? Uh, because I think on the last one, we were still, or no, hold on. Control settings. What setting is it? Hudding gameplay? No. Isn't it supposed to be in difficulty? I, I, I don't know. Or maybe they already did it. Maybe they already did it for us. I don't know. I don't know. Because right now we do have stability on it. But it must be done. Traction is the natural enemy of drifting. Oh god, this car is awful. Granted, we got stability control on. Uh, that that's really, really hurting us. Not bad. But do I need to explain again about power to weight ratios? I mean, yeah, this thing drifts, but it's actually pretty damn terrible. And that might be just because we got that stability control on, but I don't know. I don't like this at all. Like, in the slightest. Fabulous. Drift clubbers, take note. There's more where this came from. And honestly, it, it, this just feels really, really grindy. Like, it won't let us go very far. Like, we can't get, like, any angle. A bit of speed. Turn in. Better the e-brake as you hold the accelerator. It's more of an art form, really. I'll let you work it out. Like, I mean, it, it's almost like it's controlling us. Like, 
I know what it should feel like with stability control, and this honestly doesn't feel like I have stability control on. It, I mean, it does feel like we have it on, but at the same time, it feels like they're really controlling us. Like, they are preventing us from getting too much angle, if that makes any sense. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. So we're up to 183,000. We've got 0.9 miles to go. We need to get there in 30 seconds. So what we need to do is we need to hammer down now and just get there. And we can just go ahead and I'm going to cross this field because we really need to get there quickly. Six, five, four, three, two. Oh no, we're not gonna make it! Oh, bad luck. You did seem to be having rather a lot of fun, though. Are you joking? Are you shitting me? Are you seriously shitting me? Before we do that again, though, because actually, what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna quit out of this because I know I have stability control on. Is go into your car settings and switch off the traction control. It might be a button, or it might need a pair of pliers and a pair I, of I know, but you won't, you, you won't fucking Captain let me. Is the natural enemy of drifting. Shut, shut up, man. Dude, I, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. I love drifting, but I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I know we got stability on. We got stability on because we had that on for the Aston Martin. And just all right, this time isn't going to act like it's controlling me, like hand holdy. Hello, my name is Robert. Don't need yes. to tell me your name. Joe's done plenty of that. Uh, I've gathered a group of like minded drivers together here at the festival, and I hoped you might help us attract more. You nerdy cock, let me drive! Well, you can probably guess. Some like the rush, but I'm rather partial to the engineering, I must say. Why don't you take my old Nissan 240 out and see which you enjoy better? I want to know how his Nissan 240 disobeys the laws of physics. Switch your car settings and switch off the traction control. Might be a button. Or it might need a pair of pliers and a bit of tape, but it must be done. Traction is the natural enemy of drifting. Oh, really? That actually was our stability control. It was our stability control doing all of it. It was 100% our stability control's fault. Oh, my God. There we go. Come on. Get it on. There we go. Yes. Because, like, literally, we were just driving, and then it would catch immediately. Like, it, it felt so hand-holdy. Like, it would not let you fail. It would get you to an angle that you well, could you not fail. Can't do that with engineering alone. No, sir, you can't. You need you need me. The great girl for 1-3 here. Drifting away. In and in, the e as you hold the accelerator. It's more of an art form, really. I'll let you work it out. Would it be more of a challenge if I made you wear washing up gloves? Wonder what happens when we hit 200k. <laughs> like, cause we've hit we've hit 50, we hit 100, we hit 150. And you see, at this point, we only had 30 seconds left in the race, and we almost failed. Now we're doing fine. We, we've got plenty of damn room. So he didn't say anything for us at 200. Although actually, you know what, for safety, you know, cause uh, cutting through this, we, we almost we almost didn't make it before. Uh, so we're, we are just gonna cut around this. We got 214,000. I think that's enough for a three star there. I'm sure you've noticed them, but we've started adding some flags to bits of road that are really quite good for drifting. A great bit of practice for drift driving. Yeah, we, we got our three stars. There we go. You nailed it. Yeah. Woo. I want to check out the high scores. 
So, the high score out of my friends list is Don Juan Song with 524,000. Dear Lord. Oh, but the ultimate high score is a million? Oh my God. Dear God, that's amazing. That is, that is crazy. Like, I thought we did okay with like 200,000. How on earth did he get 900,000? That is insane. That is absolutely wild. I got that 200,000. Yeah, that, that's all right. That's not a terrible score. No, we, we got our ass kicked. We got our ass kicked. We get 10,000 credits from getting Drift Club level 2. And we are level 60 now. Very nice. Very nice. We get a wheel spin. Come on, give us something good. I saw a four. What, what is that? Is that a bracelet of some kind? I don't know, but we got 10,000 credits. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So, anyway, though, right now, what I want to go ahead and do is let's go ahead back over here to the festival site and collect our new barn find. All right, so we're back here at the festival site. Let's go ahead. Here is our barn. Woo! And here's the thing. One of these is winter. I know that. Is one of these spring? And I know one of them at least requires Edinburgh Castle. But the thing is, though, somebody also told me that one of them is for Bamborough Castle. So there's one for Bamborough, one for Edinburgh, one for winter that we know. One for fall. I, I'm not sure if the Bamberg Castle one is legitimate or not. I'm not sure because I haven't found Bamberg Castle yet. So I haven't been able to check and see what rewards you actually get. But let's go ahead and collect our DB4 GT Zagato right now. Oh, man, I'm excited. 19 of these. Just 19, that's it. At last time one came up for auction, it went for nearly 10 million pounds. Not a bad find for a couple of chums and a walk in the woods, eh? Yeah, 10 million pounds, dear lord, and you're just giving me this car. All right, yeah, cool, cool, man, cool, man, cool, man, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so but anyway, though, that is where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 As well, if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.